Hello, kindergarten friends. It's Mrs. Gorski back. And today we are going to be making some pattern snakes. So as you can see, here's my snake friend that is going to be helping us build some patterns today. And of course, I have my pattern types. In addition to, I don't have bears. I don't have cubes. But I got some pattern block shapes. So let's just review each shape that we have. I see a blue rhombus, which has four sides, four points. I see a red trapezoid with four sides, four points. I see a yellow hexagon with six sides and six points. I see an orange square with four sides and four points. And I see a green triangle with three sides and three points. So we are going to be using pattern shapes today um, in order to create the patterns that we have. So let's jump in and get started. The first one that we have is A, A, B. Now remember, when we're dealing with a pattern like this, I'm only going to need two shape types. So because we need a shape type for A and a shape type for B. So let's go ahead and see what we want to do. So, hmm, maybe I want to do triangle, triangle, square. There's my A, A, B. Triangle, triangle, Square, triangle, triangle, square, triangle, triangle, square. There we have it. Look, our first pattern. Kind of looks like a really cool snake, doesn't it? Okay, boys and girls, hold tight. We are ready to make a new one. Okay, we are back. Now, the next one we're going to be doing is... A, B, B. And the last one we did was A, A, B. So this is going to be changing a little bit. I only see one A. The other one had two A's and one B. This one we have one A and two B's. So it's going to be a little bit of a switcheroo. So here we go. I still only need two shape types. One for A and then one for B. So let's see what we want to do this time. Let's see. Maybe I want to do rhombus, trapezoid, trapezoid, rhombus, trapezoid, trapezoid. So say I have A, B, B, A, B, B, rhombus, trapezoid, trapezoid, rhombus, Trapezoid, trapezoid. Check out that pattern snake. He's looking pretty cool there. I like his colors. All right, my friends, hold tight. I'll get this pattern cleaned up and get ready for a new one. Okay, we are back. And take a look at the pattern we have now. A, B. Boys and girls, this is where it all began. A, B, one of our simplest patterns. Remember, I only need two shape types, one for A, one for B. Let's think what we want to do here. Hmm, maybe I want to do a hexagon square. Hexagon square, see A, B, A, B. Hexagon square. Hexagon square. Hexagon square. Hexagon square. Take a look at that snake. I really like him. Perfect for fall with the yellows and the oranges. All right, hold tight. We have one more pattern to do. 
Okay, boys and girls, we are back. Our last pattern for today is A, B, C. So, you know when we have an ABC pattern, I see one, two, three different letters. So that means I'm gonna need three shape types. One for A, one for B, and one for C. So let's see, what do we wanna do right now? Hmm. Let's do triangle, square, rhombus. Triangle, square, rhombus. A, B, C, A, B, C. Triangle, square, rhombus. Triangle, square, rhombus. How about that? I really like that snake. He's pretty cool. Have different colors there. So we have our ABC pattern, three different shapes, one shape per letter. Boys and girls, I really hope you enjoy our pattern snake activity. I hope maybe you could, we could easily make something like this at home. Um, and But you don't necessarily have to use patterns, uh, pattern shapes. You could use other things. Um, like we said, um, Legos or crayons or cubes or blocks. It, doesn't matter. You don't have to always use things that I use in my videos. We could always improvise and use something different. But I hope that you enjoyed this activity, and I will be talking to you soon. Bye, everyone.